What? <laughs> this is funny and <laughs> kind of stupid and weird. So apparently, no, not apparently, actually happened because I'll provide the link to you below of what the news link is and they actually show a short clip of it. So anyways, those of you don't, who don't know and just reading this title down here, Titus O'Neil is suspended from the WWE for grabbing Vince McMahon for 90 days. It doesn't say 90 days, but I'll show you the news link. This is the first time I ever heard of anyone in the wrestling business in WWE, WWF, getting suspended for just grabbing the boss. Of course, in any other job, if you grab the boss in like a forceful manner, you get fired right away or not fired. Like, I don't know what the bullshit, like you get reprimanded and unless if you do something awful, then you get fired. Yeah. But this is WWE. This is a physical, physical thing they do. People grab shit all the time and grab people. But the thing is, Titus O'Neil was grabbing Vince McMahon in a playful manner. Vince did not like that shit and just shoved him back. I guess Vince McMahon doesn't like Titus O'Neil at all. Wouldn't be surprising because Titus O'Neil, he's a nice ass guy, but he is doing nothing. Sure, he was a tag team champion, but really, that was nothing. Like, it was, that was surprising when the primetime players won the tag team belts. Everybody was like, uh, okay, I guess we clap for them. But even, like, they never did give an explanation on why the primetime players even broke up lately. Hell, they never explained, I don't think so, that why they reunited when Darren Young and Titus O'Neil were feuding. And now they're all good together, but that's logic in WWE. He thinks that us fans don't remember this shit. <laughs> like the time when Brock Lesnar and Undertaker were kicking the crap at each other back in the day. Not the Brock Lesnar now, who was full of tattoos. Well, he was full of tattoos before. But after MMA, I'm talking about before MMA, before MMA, UFC, whatever. I don't know. I don't watch UFC, MMA. I watch sometimes. I don't know the difference. Yes, I know the difference. Not really. Okay, sorry. But before UFC, before WrestleMania, that awful match was Goldberg. Before then, where he and Undertaker just kicked the crap at each other, and now all of a sudden, months later, they're all buddy butter, <laughs> buddy buddy. It's kind of funny though, because that's what WWE does. But yeah, Titus O'Neil and Darren Young reunite for the second time, and now they're broken up for some reason. No one knows. But yeah, I bet. I guess Vince doesn't like him because like he shoved him way back, and you can see the look on his face, like, "Oh, how dare you!" Ah, 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 walks back with his power walk. Ah, ah, ah. Bet you anything, Titus is gonna get fired over this <laughs> for 90 days suspended just for grabbing your boss. Only in the WWE. Bet you he gets fired because <laughs> WWE is just fires people for fucked up shit. Like when they fired Charlie Haas and Jackie Gata when they were on their wedding. Or was that Don Marie? One of the two. Yeah, they f fired Test for like when he was injured. They do a lot of shady things, but this is WWE. We watch it anyway. I don't watch it lately because like, come on. It's not that great as it once was. I watch the pay-per-views, but not watch every Raw or SmackDown. I read what happens, but this thing was hilarious though. I don't know, what do you guys think? This is just a funny, weird, and just weird and funny situation. Take it easy, humanoid nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. <laughs>